stopping an armed gunman is no easy task. At Oakland University, teachers may have an unconventional weapon to try to do that. Hockey pucks. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is joining us live to explain more about this. And Matthew, when you think hockey pucks, this is not exactly firing fire with fire. No, it's not. And actually, when you say hockey pucks, I mean, it's lightweight, it's rubber. Uh, the kids on campus, they're meeting this with heavy skepticism. I'll be the first one to tell you this, but it's also not an idea without merit. You know, safety experts have said for years, this is a last resort. It's part of that run, hide, fight training. That worst case scenario where if a gunman does breach a classroom, you grab whatever you have, a chair, a book, maybe a fire extinguisher, and you attack, you fight back. Well, at OU, they're coming up with a new idea, handing out hockey pucks. This is that last resort. Now, the teachers union and the students contracts or the student Congress, I should say, have both shipped in around five grand each. That's enough to pass out a few thousand hockey pucks on campus. It's part of the run, hide, fight training that's become popular as unfortunately school shootings have spiked. The OU police chief says it's an option, but students we spoke with, they remain skeptical. If I was to give you a puck and I had a gun, would I be able to take you out? <laughs> Easily, yeah. I mean, it, puck's not going to distract me or stop me from shooting someone. Part of the strategy for fighting is you need to create a distraction to give yourself time as a group in a classroom to rush the gunman so you can get your hands on the gun and secure it and take it away from the shooter. More than 800 hockey pucks, things like this, have already been handed out on campus. Yes, they're also looking into other solutions as well. They're talking about some new door locks. You can find out more about that part of the story at WXYZ.com. But because the peculiarity of the nature of hockey pucks being handed out and the skepticism that's coming with it, that is the talk of the campus right now. For now, we're live this morning. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. Thank